The OnePlus 9 is one of the biggest leaps over the previous mainline generation in recent years, providing some major core improvements over the OnePlus 8, but we're here to examine if an upgrade is actually worth it. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. 2021 is a landmark year for OnePlus, a new Hasselblad camera partnership, the loss of Carl Pei, and even closer ties with Oppo mean it's going to be hard to take it easy on the firm that offered budget flagship hardware previously. We're still unconvinced by a six month release cycle as the OnePlus 8T is very fresh in our minds. To simplify, if you have the 8T, then the OnePlus 9 is nowhere near of enough of an upgrade. However, the jump from the OnePlus 8 to the OnePlus 9 is actually more pronounced than any full series release. If you're finding certain areas lacking, then you might have been glancing at the newest releases, and so we're here to examine if an upgrade is actually worth it. Without seeing the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 9 side by side, it's actually hard to decipher just what has changed. The specifications tell you that there are just a few fairly minor upgrades to areas such as the display and battery. The upgraded storage and new Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset should provide a bigger performance bump when combined with a slightly faster 120Hz refresh rate versus 90Hz. That's not to say that the OnePlus 8 is slow, as it's still a beast of a device that should be able to do everything you would want to do on a modern smartphone. Personally, I do find the move to a completely flat display to be the biggest outright hardware change and benefit that I noticed. The curves on the OnePlus 8 display are not that bad, but it does mean that finding a good screen protector is an issue and some edge mistouches can be a problem. A truly flat display is still much better for usability. The rest of the hardware is fairly similar, but holding side by side and you can see a refinement of the design used here in 2020. A domino camera setup makes the OnePlus 9 look eerily similar to the iPhone 11, while the OnePlus 8 retains the OnePlus 7 Pro's DNA and appearance. Naturally, OnePlus has done well in guaranteeing software updates for at least three years on all of its existing devices. That is set to continue on the OnePlus 9 series, but as an older smartphone, or at least a 12 months old smartphone, the OnePlus 8 won't get updated quite as far. Because it launched with Android 10 pre-installed, the OnePlus 8 will be supported up to and including Android 13. The newer device ships with Android 11 and is therefore in line to get up to Android 14 within its lifetime. Just how OnePlus plans on rolling things out is unknown, but while updates have slowed across all of their devices, they do arrive, which is something not every other Android OEM appears to be capable of. Many core features found in Oxygen OS 11 include an always on display, a brand new UI look and feel, plus tons more. However, some software tweaks reliant on that enhanced camera hardware will not be available on the OnePlus 8, even with the stable Oxygen OS 11 release, which is already available. There is only a modest 200 mAh internal cell increase from the OnePlus 8 series to the OnePlus 9, but with that battery increase, we're getting a few important improvements and long overdue battery related additions. Wireless charging is finally here on a mainline OnePlus smartphone for the first time, albeit at standard 15 watt charge speeds. There is also a big jump from 30 to 65 watt charging on the OnePlus 9. The OnePlus 8 series still manages to stick with the still fast Warp Charge 30T wired charging. If you want to have multiple charging options, then the OnePlus 9 is the device to go for. The camera sensors have taken a big step up on the OnePlus 9, as although its predecessor does come with a 48 megapixel main sensor, it is an older model that is the very same you'll find on 2019's OnePlus 7T. Naturally, the biggest upgrades are not just in the hardware on offer. The might of Hasselblad should lend itself well to the OnePlus 9 series, and the ongoing partnership will hopefully birth some of the best smartphone cameras in the business. It shouldn't be a fair contest this year though, as the OnePlus 9 has that upgraded main camera sensor, plus a massive bump with a 15 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. The biggest problem has always been camera tuning and post processing, and that was the case on the OnePlus 8. The OnePlus 9 now includes pro color tuning courtesy of Hasselblad, with extras within the camera app itself, including a dedicated Hasselblad Pro photography mode. Selfies though should be practically identical in overall quality, as both the OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 9 come with the exact same 16 megapixel Sony IMX417 selfie sensor. If you value camera performance, then this is a no contest, as the OnePlus 9 should wipe the floor with the OnePlus 8. 
So the biggest question is, should you upgrade? Well, as with just about any device at just 12 months old, if you are happy with the OnePlus 8, then you just simply shouldn't upgrade to the OnePlus 9. There are a ton of big upgrades though to the package, which does make it much easier than it will have done in previous years if you did want to switch devices. If you have an older OnePlus smartphone, such as the OnePlus 6T, then we do think it's more sensible. Of course, we all know that the camera has been a weak point for previous OnePlus hardware. The poor post processing has weakened previous efforts and with a partnership with Hasselblad, you're sure to see major improvements over the coming years. The OnePlus 8 felt like it had lots of compromises over the OnePlus 8 Pro and the OnePlus 9 just doesn't feel quite as held back. It finally has wireless charging, a good camera system, impressive design, a flat 120Hz display and it's priced fairly competitively. Because of that, upgrading genuinely feels more acceptable even though the OnePlus 8 is still less than a year old. That said, if you are a OnePlus 8 owner and you are going to upgrade, be sure to let me know down in the comments section below your reasons for doing so, or if you're sticking, then similarly give me your reasons too. Be sure to check out our dedicated OnePlus 8 Pro and OnePlus 9 Pro comparison on the channel. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching, and I will speak to you later.